in solidarity with scholar strike i am going on strike to imagine with you a system that seeks to dismantle the racist structures that we are inhabiting that black lives are been and have been systematically targeted in the us exists in continuity with the targeting of uh, indigenous lives of uh, maori and pacifica lives here in aotearoa new zealand so today what i will talk about is the ways in which the structure of whiteness works as a framework for silencing so i have titled this brief uh, presentation whiteness and strategies of silencing i want to uh, take a moment as we get started to thank the organizers of um, this strike and uh, i hope that this is um, a conversation that serves as a register for um, uh, dismantling racism in the us in uh, settler colonies across the globe and um, in majoritarian governments um, that uh, systematically sponsor and target uh, the killings of um, uh, black bodies and um, in other contexts of uh, uh, bodies of minorities so what i will do today is uh, begin by talking about the concept of whiteness then i will discuss uh, the nature of silencing as a framework for perpetuating whiteness then work with you to imagine um, connections as the basis for dismantling white structures and wrap up with some strategies so when you look at the images of black lives matter and this is an image from the uh, black lives matter protests here in aotearoa new zealand uh, one of the most powerful elements of these images is its ability to witness to uh, see and to voice whiteness and its infrastructures of violence so uh, i see black lives matter um as a register for um imagining uh, strategies for disrupting the silences that are perpetuated by whiteness so let's begin by talking about whiteness and what it is uh, whiteness is uh, the perpetuation um, establishment a uh, circulation of cultural values that are embedded in white culture and that are precisely built up in order to uphold uh, the supremacy of um, uh, white people so in that sense whiteness is the fundamental infrastructure of white supremacy white supremacy thrives on whiteness on those uh, coded values and cultural scripts that we take as normative but that actually reflect uh, the entrenched values of white culture and that work uh, to prop up and to uh, place in uh, positions of privilege uh, white people so in that sense uh, white culture Uh, as a superior is a key element in that infrastructure of whiteness whiteness consistently works to put up white culture as superior and it circulates uh, this narrative of white culture as uh, superior and this sense of superiority then that um, is entrenched into uh, whiteness um, is integral to the processes of uh, uh, colonization um to the occupation of um uh, the lands of indigenous peoples uh, to the imperial project as well as to uh, the project of slavery um inherent um, uh, in the narrative of whiteness is uh, the notion of uh, moving uh, the beasts and the savages uh, which are uh the people from the colonized spaces and the people of africa uh into uh, the pathways of civilization of course through 
the reproduction of uh, violence and strategies of violence. These forms of violence go all the way from uh, rapes, murders, uh, genocide to um, incarceration and uh, the prison industrial uh, complex. So racism in that sense emerges from whiteness, from the sense of white superiority. But uh, racism is also a political and economic project because uh, the devaluation of uh, uh, black lives, the devaluation of uh, indigenous uh, cultures, the devaluation of the cultures of colonized peoples, and the portrayal of these cultures as savages, as uh, backward, as primitive, is fundamental to holding up uh, whiteness and its uh, superiority, and is fundamental to uh, propelling its uh, capitalist logics, to propelling its markets, and to propelling um, its um, uh, use of um, uh, labor as a site of um, exploitation. So the political economy of whiteness, therefore, um, depicts the ways in which the processes of colonization, uh, slave trade, are intertwined with holding up white capital. Capital, that way, is white um, in the sense that uh, it holds up the nature of uh, white culture and the supremacy of white people through both the erasure of uh, um, black communities, through the erasure of indigenous communities, through the erasure of colonized communities, and through the ongoing devaluing of the cultures and the voices of uh, the peoples of these communities. So whiteness as superiority actually works on an ongoing basis by uh, marking uh, blackness as primitive, by uh, marking indigeneity as backward, by marking uh, colonized people's cultures as um, uh, savages. So whiteness perpetuates silence through a variety of strategies of communicative um, inversions, which is uh, turning of materiality on its head through uh, rhetorical uh, devices. And one such communicative inversion is uh, the notion of freedom. So uh, whiteness uh, puts forth the idea of uh, freedom as uh, one that emancipates uh, black lives, as one that uh, emancipates indigenous lives precisely through the carrying out of violence on black lives and indigenous lives. So violence is justified because it is a civilizing uh, tool. Uh, it produces the primitive other, and it does so through the languages of civility and through attacks on spaces of articulation. So the ongoing attacks of whiteness on black lives matter the ongoing attacks of whiteness on indigenous protests are tied to these strategies of silencing um, articulations that make visible the violence that is embedded in whiteness. So I will uh, wrap up as we uh, talk about you know, these strategies of silencing uh, by discussing how then do we uh, dismantle uh, these uh, silencing strategies of whiteness. And I would suggest that we do so by seeing connections and by culturally centering these connections in uh, struggles across spaces and across contexts. So uh, by witnessing and seeing uh, the violence that is perpetuated by uh, whiteness on uh, black lives in the US, by seeing the violence of whiteness on indigenous lives in Aotearoa, New Zealand, or um, in um, uh, indigenous communities in the US, uh, by seeing uh, the violence perpetuated by the logics of whiteness in Palestine, by seeing the violence in um, uh, refugee and migrant communities perpetuated by the logics of whiteness, we actually find registers uh, for connecting. These registers for connecting break the silence by witnessing, by making visible, and by seeing uh, whiteness for what it is, 
um, an infrastructure of violence uh, that perpetuates various logics of extraction uh, through um, the colonization and incarceration of people. So I'm so glad um, that I have been able to join you on this uh, brief conversation. Really enjoyed uh, uh, the various conversations that this moment has brought about. And this is uh, to hoping that this is a register for bringing about transformations in uh, racist white structures across the globe. Thank you.